let's talk about it so today's video is going to be me explaining how the military can hold you back oh no don't talk bad about the military especially when you're still in it so it's not necessarily talking bad about the military it's just pointing out that it's not always ideal for everyone meaning when i first joined so i know there's people like me when i first joined i already had an outline of what i want and my accomplishments and where i want to be in life and on that outline the military literally consists of this much space this much space meaning it's only a stepping stone for me that's it nothing more okay that's it so with that being said you know i spend my spare time trying to achieve my goals um my career in the civilian world while i'm still in the military okay so that that's my key when i first well my key my goal so when i first signed up for the military i already knew that i was doing four years nothing more okay unless i had to which means extending because i do not want to re-enlist for another term okay i do not okay so my goal was um to only do one term while pursuing my dream. When I went to the recruiter, I made sure I told him, hey, look, I want the simplest job with the shortest tech school, okay? So, like, when I go to work, you know, I'm a, I'm a stellar, I'm a stellar airman, I'll tell you that right now. Like, I work my tail off. I make sure that whatever I'm given, I do it to the best of my ability. But, all I wanna do, go to work, do what I gotta do, go home okay because my focus is somewhere else yeah the military may be my priority but it's not my focus if that makes sense okay it's like when whenever we went to high school okay yeah it was a priority we had to go okay or well, your parents would get in trouble but you have other but you had other focus along the way whether it was like um sports or a job or taking care of your family you know, your focus was somewhere else, but you went to school because it's, it was a priority and you had to go. Just like the military. I signed up. I go to work. Instead of parents getting in trouble, I get in trouble. I go to work, but my focus is somewhere else, if that makes sense. So, I mean, if you are, if you bleed blue, that's fine. Good for you, baby. But I don't. And when I say bleed blue, I mean that you know um you you tunnel tunnel vision you know what i'm saying you don't see um other people's looks or reasons why joining the military bes besides your own meaning like so a lot of people join the, i don't know how can i explain this a lot of people join the military because they were either raised as a military brat and just that's all they know there's no other way like you join because this is you know that that um that generic reason is that you want to be all you can be that <clears throat> you love your country so much that you die for it you don't care how, about anything except that if that makes sense i don't know <laughs> just rambling but that's not me Okay, and everybody's not the same. That's another thing. What what I do not like about the military is that they think everyone's the same, so they put everybody in the same category, that and think that everyone has the same goals. No, we don't. Like everyone joined for different reasons. Some for school. Some just like myself. That's just a stepping stone. Something to have on your resume. You know, while um, you focusing on other stuff. You know, I just, the military is just very, um, can be very, um, tunnel vision, you know, but not, not everybody. Just, I'm just saying in, in broad spectrum, the military itself. Now, there are some, some leadership that understand that a lot of people, um, a lot of the airmen 
join for different reasons and actually try to help them pursue what they are sought out to do but there are there are also those um leadership that really just you know what I'm saying potential understand like they have a conversation well what what do you want to do what are you trying to do? Okay, okay. And you tell them, like, no, I don't want to um, be an NCO. I don't want to be. I'm comfortable where I'm at. Um, I have other goals that I'm trying to pursue. I just want to come to work, do what I got to do, go home and work on what I got to work on. They, you know, responded, but I want you to be this. I want you to be a staff. I want you to, you can want that all you want. If I'm telling you that's not what I want, I'm not doing that. Okay. I am only obligated to go as high as senior airman when I'm a four-year contract. Now, I can see if um, I'm doing another term or something like that. Um, it's not a good look to stay a senior airman and they're going to push you to become a staff. But, you know, when you come do a second term, you become a staff and it's it's ideal for you to grow to be a staff because they can kick you out if you don't, you know, if you in like longer, I guess, and you're not up the ladder. But you can stop at staff and be fine. But right now where I'm at, I can stop at senior airman and be fine because that's what I am, a senior airman. And I only have a year and a half left. So, like, you know. I feel like I'm rambling. I don't know if I make sense, but I just felt like I need to get up here and express myself. I need an outlet because I know I'm not the only one that feel this way. So I just want to express that. But back to what I was saying, there are those leaderships that pretend to um, get you, but don't. Okay, like meaning Meaning uh, their listening skills and uh, communication skills is off. There's a lot of leadership that know how to, don't know how to talk to people, uh, don't listen, um, don't take it in consideration of their airmen and what they actually want, but want you to do what's best for them. Meaning, like if they get you to do this, then on their EPR, they look good because they got um, you to do this for them, if that makes sense. And I express myself all the time, like, look, no, this is not where I'm trying to be. I'm not going, I'm not doing 20 years. The military is not for me. Like I did, I'm, I'm doing what I got to do my four years and I want to get out. That's, that's it. Nothing more. So Okay, so on to specifically why I say the military is holding me back. Okay, um, so I am a free spirited, um, a structured, structured, free spirited person. I don't know why that was hard to say, but you, you get me, I guess. So, and I'm very artsy, very colorful, because I'm, um, you know, I love music. I want to be an actress, you know? And, you know, I, I paint here and there. I do little, actually, let me take it back. I haven't painted in a while, so I don't want to, I don't want to be those types of, yeah, I paint, and it's been 30 years. No, I, I, I have painted before, <laughs> and I liked it, and I was good at it. Um, I do like, you know, little art pieces here and there and, you know, some people want to buy them. I sell them to them, you know, and, um, you know, I, I put little clips on there just in case somebody want to buy some and go to this video, just, you know what I'm saying? Hit me up and say, Hey girl, I like that piece. Cause you make me one, you know? You know, as you can see, sis is tied in the military, so, you know, I need a little income on the side or something so I can get out this joker. So, you know, anyway, back to what I was saying. So, I'm very artsy. You know, I joined with um, a degree in arts. I have an associate's arts, and right now I want to work on my, ooh, I'm going to get to that. I want to work on my bachelor's. So, right now, I just enroll into WSU. 
for the filmmaking program because I want to be an actress and I want to have the background of all that and I like doing videos as you can see and I like doing you know I want to be able to do those um uh, high quality videos that people just be like oh that was good and they just tune in tune with it because I have a lot of ideas okay I'm just rambling now, but that's what I want to do and so you know I with me wanting to be an actress I look for little gigs here and there and you know I submit auditions but all these um auditions and all the all the um little parts that I auditioned for be located in um like out like eight hours away 19 hours away because I'm right now is I'm in Wichita Kansas okay and which is fucking since it's not bad. It's it's all in what you make it. It's it is artsy here, but for me wanting to be an actress and the dreams that I want, it's nothing here. Okay. And I'm I didn't move here because I want to move here. I got stationed here. You know, it is what it is. I knew that was, you know, you know, part of the package, you know, you may get stationed somewhere you don't want to get stationed. And it was fine, you know, I just, I knew that there were ways around, um, that to, um, still pursue what I wanted to do, you know? So, anyway, um, so in my spare time, my time now, that's mine, I, um, audition for stuff, I try to get myself out there, which I need to push myself a little bit more, but I try to get myself out there or whatever. And I, you know, I don't like sharing a lot of what I do in my, um, my extracurricular activities, um, with military, with the military family, because it's none of their business for one, but they are really nosy. And if you are not asking to contribute to me accomplishing these goals that I'm setting out to do, and and there it's really none of your business what I do because you right now you just ask me to be nosy and it's none of your business and but you know it be people that just be all on your back wanting you to like um further yourself in your career the military career but that's that's not Part of, that's not that's not my goal so you have those people that say hey I want you to be like I said earlier a staff sergeant I want you to uh, run this do that and I'm just like um no I don't want to because it's not my focus so you have those people that you tell that to it's very you know it's not uh, specific of what you're doing but you just tell them it's not your focus they still be on your back I want you to do this, but I want you to, but I, but I, but I, but no now, like get, get back up off me. I said, I don't want it. And you have those people. So here you are sick and tired of them coming at you, getting annoyed. So you, now you have to explain why you don't want to do this. You have to go into detail. And so now here I am telling you my business that I didn't want to tell you because I do this in my spare time. And it should not matter because I come to work and do my job. If I say I don't want to further myself and like um, go up the ladder, if you know, and you still on my back, like there there are people that there are other individuals that want to like climb that ladder. Why are you on me? I know I'm a good worker. That's that's why because you know I'm a good worker. You know I show. Um, good work ethics or whatever that's why they they're on me but no i just want to come work do what i got to do in cajon but when you have those people you have to go into detail of what you got going on and once you tell them it's like um you're not taking it in like you know i'm all over the place <laughs> but i hope you get what i was saying just put just piece it together put you know one and two two and three three and four together five and six and then mm, get what I'm saying but anyway back to what I'm saying so I'm I'm um wait a minute okay so why the military is holding me back specifically 
is because I joined, um, I specifically asked for the simplest job for the smallest, shortest tech school. And so that I won't have to um, give a lot of energy and to this job and I can focus my energy on something else while having a steady income by making sure that I am good financially and while I'm chasing my dream. So that's what I did. I got this job, it's very simple. Um, I don't have to do um, <clears throat> like my position now. It's like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm just saying it's like like I don't have to think like I know what I got to do when I go to work I do what I got to do I already you know got an expectation what they need me to do I do what I got to do I come home I don't have to think about it I, I don't have to be stressed about it so when I get home I'm not I'm not stressed I'm not thinking about what I had to do at work because it was simple. I did that. I can come home and put all my energy into me getting to where I want to be. So I won't have to be in the military longer than what I want to. Okay. So with that being said, I don't want to climb the ladder because the more I climb the ladder, the more responsibility I have in this job, which means I have people under me that I have to look after or over you know, I have to make sure this and that, you know, I, and, and, and make sure you don't mess up here and all that. Like, I don't want that in the military. Like, I don't want that because this is not my focus. Because that, that means I have to put more energy into this specific thing to make sure it's running right. So by the time I get home, I'm either tired, frustrated, annoyed, and and just energy gone and don't have the um the energy to focus on what's really important to me so therefore i'm stuck in this position because i'm not working towards my goals because i'm so tired because of this this particular um thing that i'm doing that i really that really doesn't make me happy you know like that's what's wrong with people today like they they get stuck in a job that they don't like that um that don't make them happy because they either get um they either get comfortable or they do too much at that job and they drain that they don't have enough energy to work on what they really want to do in life if that makes sense I hope this is making sense you, you know because I'm just I feel like I'm rambling okay so yeah this is why I feel that the military is holding me specifically back but especially you know my leadership one in particular because not all along um, like one in particular because I don't want them to see this video and be like oh my god why you ain't tell me? But no, not all of them. Just one in particular, honey. Child. But anywho. So, yeah. Yeah. If I'm telling you that I do not want to do this, or if I'm telling you that I'm uncomfortable doing this because, because specific reason, then take that into consideration. Especially when you have enough people to fill that 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 spot and not enough people in the position that I'm in now why are you taking me out of position I am now to put me in the position that you have enough people in it's beyond me okay so yeah like I guess it's every job had it depends like no matter what the job is the job can be easy and simple but it, it if the people ain't it the job ain't it okay so yeah so i hope that i um i don't know entertain you in some way um i just i just really needed the outlet you know talk to some some people someone also you know uh subscribe to my channel child because that 
as you can see, I'm trying to get out of the military and I need a little income. So if you subscribe to my channel, that'll help a lot for your choice. You just click, click the subscribe button, click the like button, you know, help us out. That's the one with the world today. Nobody want to help nobody. And it's free of charge. But anyway. So y'all thank you for tuning in. To Look Cute TV. And I'll see you next time.